Yeah, our renown is like going out of control here. Balling, even. What's going on? I had an eye on the fight. Next time, I look down the dredge and the st are swarming the courtyard. Okay, I pronounced that wrong. I can't tell how many more are waiting out there. But it's a lot. If we get back across the bridge, it'll be a fight. Any options? Not really, unless you want to wade into that valley. We're going to have to leave the same way we came in. Hakon, I think you should take a look at this. Nearby, the men had been bundled and laid near a short wall, protected from the wind. I think this man is a mender. That raises more questions than it answers. Spell weavers and Ridgehorn? Why? Maybe they know something about, what hap about what's happening. If he's going to tell, any tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. If he's going to tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. But first we need to rest? No, well, let's go, dog. Hold on, we got a lot of tired and wounded hack on. This is going to be rough. Each day we wait means more dredge or another ambush or we get snowed in. A heavy snow may act in our favor if we can get past the first line of dredge and lose the rest. Uh, it's your, look, it's your call, hack on, but we can't cut and run on this one. There's one way out. If Varl fall, if anyone falls fighting here, they'll be left behind. We wait for now. Let's make this place defensible. All right, I'll spread the word and meet you back here soon. This guy is still stoked. The morale is good. We'll set up a watch, says Moger. Who knows what the dredge will do down in the mount meantime. Maybe try to starve us out or wear us down. Might try to hide their numbers. What do you want to know? Focus on getting everybody rested and ready. I think that's a bit better idea. Will do, he says. When you're ready to leave, give the word. Until then, I'll see to it that everyone is in fighting condition before we make our escape. Hmm. Heroes. Let's see if we got any level ups here. It's probably... Oh, man. It's not good. Oh, minus three strength is so bad. All of fa fast salt... As quickly proven as salt. I mean, shown he's worth the salt. Look, I don't remember the expression very well. He's going to get some strength. And he's going to get some more strength. That's his strength limit that he's reached already. <sighs> Hack on. You just need two more kills. That's fine. That's fine. Three. I think level three is good enough for everybody here. I, I mean, like, there's no reason we need to be at level four. Let's be honest. Uh, we should rest, though. <laughs> we should rest for, like, three days. One. Two. Three days of rest. Everybody healed up? Yeah, we're good to go. Let's do this thing. Let's leave. We're ready. What's our approach? Bait the dredge into attacking and wear them down. Break through the front lines and don't stop. Send the shield bangers forward and fight them. <laughs> good one. Go all out, strike hard and drive them off. Send a diversion to draw their... I think sending a diversion is probably the best idea. Well, although, Diversion is probably going to get killed. Um, yeah, I don't want to wear them down. It sounds like really shitty. Hate to admit it, says Moger, but this might be the safest option. I just wouldn't want to see them again. Gets a strange expression on his face. I'll lead, he says. I can make sure you and the others escape. All right. You know what, Moger? Fine. Let's do it. You clasp hands with Moger. If I make it, I'll see you again in Grafheim. If you don't, I'll see you in the depths. You reply with a forced smile. Moger makes the rounds and gathers a good number of loyal followers. They cross the land bridge and set up, up and set upon the dredge with ferocity. Moger does a good job of leading them away, and in the calamity, the caravan passes, chopping down any stragglers along the way. Before long, the fighting fades from sight, and then you can no longer hear it anymore, either. You're free of the dredge, but you wonder if you made the right choice. You doubt you'll be seeing Moger again. Yeah, I kind of figured, but like, you know what? That's all okay. I mean, it's not, it's not good that Moger died, but I feel like the story has more drama to it when people die, like Moger, and uh... 
And, uh, 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 uh Gunolf. Gunolf just, he died too. Like, we're losing guys left and right, right? We're losing Varl. We're losing heroes left and right. Oh, look at this. He's moving no, forward. Moving on up. Or something like that. You know, that's a... Are we going to Grafheim? I guess we're very near to Grafheim. Is this the start of the next chapter? No, we're still, uh, we're still here. Okay. Hakon, join me a moment. There's something I thought you'd want to see. Is it a welcome party from Grafheim bearing mead? That's about the only thing I want to see. No such luck. The mender from Ridgehorn woke up. He says his name is Ivan. Sounds like a mender name. How is he? Not well. Where are we? A day or two from Grafheim, we found you in the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grafheim? No, 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 that's the wrong way, Juno. Where is she? Where's the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. And Moger! Moger's dead! Do you know why the dredge were crawling all over Ridgehorn? Dredge, we have to go back! It's a damned graveyard, boy. I'm sorry, Ivan. The girl was dead when we got there. What we do... What we have to do is tell Yorinder what's happening and prepare for a bloody war. So if you... She's dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Ivan suddenly looks spent. He slips to the ground and you motion for some varl to help him onto the cart. Not what I had hoped to hear. Not sure what I was hoping... Come on. Oh, I did the wrong voice. Come on, Ubin. The sooner we get to Grafheim, the better. I was hoping Mender means, like, we're going to have a healer in our party. Which is why I wasn't too upset about letting, uh... Death grips me as we approach Grafheim. None of us expect to die. see a city unscathed. But what we find steals the very breath from my lungs. Holy shit. Chapter 4, Lest Did They Not Come. Yeah, where are we going? Are we going back to uh, Led and Rook? That was crazy. The Grafheim is uh, it's, it's gone. It's killed by the Dredge Lords. We're just a regular Dredge. I don't know which ones, but we're back in Frostfler. That asshole look, looks at you like he's like, Super, like, his health, his head is super backwards tilted. Yeah, this guy, Eckle. What did I tell you, Rook? The man has a crazed look about him. He stands, axe pointed in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. Eckle, you son of a bitch! Remember what I said. Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Eckle walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. Hogan and Mogan are still level one. Oh, man. All right. Kind of wish I could see, like, adjust my... You know what? This is, uh... This is okay. That's fine. We have like too many people here and on the other team we don't have enough. So that's kind of a problem. It's the same map where uh, Alette became a murderer. And I'm happy about that. It's like, it's like an anniversary. Oh, they have an archer. They have an archer. They think they're so tough with their archers. We got archers too. Ah, oh, they're stronger. Once again, we're going to uh, have Gil here. Bat fucking man leading up we'll do something like this i think it's a i think it's an adequate formation i wouldn't call it great but it's sufficient for our purposes let's get started ivor is useful because he can actually like block 
large amounts of people, which is nice. Bloody flail is bloody useless. <laughs> so we're going to do this uh, armor damage here. This guy's a problem. Oh, Gil is like really maneuverable, man. Pretty impressive. You're going to come down here. Not st Stonewall. God damn it, Gil. Either way, so do some armor damage. That's a problem. A bit of a problem, anyways. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm thinking we just, like, sort of go here. Then mark prey. And Gil's gonna do an attack. For six damage, which is pretty nice. And then she can do armor break. Oh, old life. Because she has the uh, world hook, or whatever you want to call it, the fish hook that deals massive amounts of armor damage. So that's good. And you gotta move... You can get a kill on that guy. Which might not be a bad idea. But I th think... We move you here. I'll put you in... Firing range. That'll put you in getting killed range. Either way, like, she's not in a good spot. Whatever we do. So... I think we do this. Go up here. And we go... We don't want to thread the needle, but we'll deal a decent amount of uh, health damage to this guy so that he can't do a lot of damage to us, which is probably a good idea. You know what, Mogan? You can, uh... Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I'll tell you that much. Go and try and take out their archer, I suppose. Deal a decent amount of damage here. Three damage. It's not good, actually. This, I forgot how terrible Mogan and Hogan were. Deflect. You know what? You're proving me wrong. S step by step. <sighs> Again, I'm not too sure. I think we just sacrificed these guys. Honestly, it's a shame, but it's gonna. It's what we're gonna have to do. Gil, you can kill that guy, but I want you to go and try and save a let. So, we'll do this. Well, there's no need to actually use up our morale there because something like this is bound to happen is my thinking and uh yeah you can definitely finish off this guy very easily rook nicely done old life not good okay luckily he went for uh mostly armor damage so we can do a little somsa somsa i guess that's the benefit of using bloody flail like it doesn't matter how low your health is you can still do a uh, considerable amount of damage. So we're going to go for his armor once again. Because his armor is quite high and it would be beneficial. Bloody flail. This is the time. How much damage can you do to these guys? You know what? No, we can't thread the needle. I wanted to, but Gil's in the way. Could deal a massive amount of damage to this guy. Which may be a good idea, honestly. The archer is gonna live, but I don't really care. Oh no, I wanted you to do bloody flail. Oh well. We'll do a lot of damage to this archer. Then she's not gonna be very useful in the future. So that's good. Oh no, one point of damage. It's got deflected too. So not so bad. All the things considered? What does Stonewall do? Just blocks damage? It's not great. Uh, might actually be beneficial, honestly. Stonewall here. Yeah, and then that way, maybe old life will get protected a little bit. Who knows? Oh, you're in a bad place, lady. <laughs> you're in a bad place. And then a let can thread the needle! Although, is she in attacking range? I wish I could see. Because if she was in attack, well, either way. If we can go up and do, uh... I should not have moved him here. That was my mistake. I was gonna I was thinking like we could thread the needle, but no. Yeah, that was not great. <sighs> Did you hit Gil? That would uh that would, that was not great if you hit Gil. Just get to kill old life. Nicely done. Alet, no. Don't don't let this happen to yourself, Alet. Okay, thread the needle. Thread the needle! Thread the needle! Yes! 
<laughs> okay. Hogan, whatever, man. Just get the kill. Not bloody. There's no need to do that. Just kill her. You deal like one point of damage, like honestly. And the thing is, look, Rook's mark mark prey ability is like really overpowered as shit. Like it's absurd how strong it is. Let's just attack, get the kill. Batman is ridiculous here. I don't like this ability where they like charge through you and then stab you in the back. That's probably seems like the kind of ability that Echo would use. So there are a couple of issues here. You know what? I think we just go for armor. Alette is gonna die, but whatever. That's fine. Why why does Mogan and Hogan like never get to attack? It takes so long for them to actually get a turn. Okay. Just uh you can actually save Alette's life. Yeah? Do it. Nothing to it but to do it. This guy still has full armor, which is terrifying to me. Is this Rook? That's a let. Okay. Just move back and then kill this guy. Yeah, you can kill him because you have, uh, never know. Or not. Never mind. This is, uh, really actually bad. We might lose this. Oh no, I forgot this. We've got Mogan and Hogan. Or Hogan and Mogan. Got one of them. Anyways. And he can serve as a sort of tank-like character, dealing one point of armor damage every turn. Alette. <sighs> Why you die, Alette? Why you die, Alette? Okay. Let's do this. Oh no, she was not in attacking range. I made a huge mistake. Oh my god. That skill is the worst. I hate it. Okay, just attack. Whatever, one point of damage. Oh, you're dealing armor damage. You think you're tough? Think you're uh think you're better than me? Why did I why did I why did I use why did I use that? Ah, this guy's gonna kill us all. We need to attack his health. There's no other option. Like, we have to. You know what? The only strategy I have left is uh to run away. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's how it's going to have to be. Oh my god, no! Ha! Oh, I'm going to lose! I'm going to lose the battle. This is the worst. Like, there's no way I can survive this. This guy's just like the king of deflection. We had six strength, too. It's a little bit absurd how he's able to deflect it all. But, oh well. At this point, there's not much to save your life. We just got kind of whack on each other. He's got more uh, armor. So yeah, things are gonna go poorly. Unless we run away. Let's try let's try running away. No, he can attack. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Okay, well, go down fighting Mogan or Hogan. I don't know which one you are. These backbiters are like they're the worst. Okay, it is armor. Yeah! That was, uh, that was my first loss in this game. Feels feels bad, man. As you're unceremoniously dumped outside the gates of Frostvillar, you count your blessings that Eko left the fight to his men, as he would have surely slit your throats himself. You stagger to your feet and come up with a plan. 